Hey guys, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. And today I wanted to give you an update on my bell peppers that I had planted, uh, I believe last year. Um, these are the same exact plants. Um, I did actually trim them, as you can see here. Well, if it wasn't focusing problem, I trimmed them. And then what I did was I turned off the water and I let them sit in, in the, the bucket. The, the water drains really low, and I'll show you that in a minute, but it drains really low. So there was only a, a, a about probably about an inch of water at the bottom of these buckets uh, for the uh, over the winter. And nothing was really growing on them. And then once we started to get into the weather that we're getting right now, I turned on the water again, made sure all my... Um, you know, my uh, pH levels were right and everything in my aquaponics system, and they started to bounce right back. Um, so I also did chives this year, because two of my, my old plants died, my bell pepper plants and my jalapeno plant. Um, so I planted chives in that bucket and this one. Chives were a really good idea, because uh, they are really good and uh, super good on eggs and they grow super easy in aquaponics. And you basically trim them all the time and probably like three days later, you got a full blown nest of it again. So let's take a closer look. Basically for those of you that don't know, this is an aquaponics setup. So I have fish in there and all the fish water goes to this in-ground sump, okay? Then in there is a pump that pumps all the water to every single little thing you see here, like my zip grow towers, that, these uh, grow, grow um, boxes, I guess, and these Dutch buckets, okay? So I have spots like this where it can split, and that's fish water, basically. So I can do something else here along this wall if I wanted to. Um, but for now, uh, with my Dutch buckets, wow, I do gotta trim this grass. Um, I have this water outlet that goes to every single bucket and it spits out nutrient rich water for my plants. Okay, so this is one of the jalapeno plants and as you can see it's doing really well. Um, it's already flowering, uh, leaves look pretty good. I'm seeing a slight yellowing but that's normal um, because I'm coming up on my iron top off I'm gonna be topping it off with iron and uh, my iron chelate so um, but yeah so basically the water comes in here and I have videos on this you can see in the video section that I put on this card but the water comes in right there and then it drains there and then it follows this pipe right back into the sump tank on all of them, okay? This is my bell pepper one, my bell pepper plant. I might trim this up still, because this is not gonna, this one's not gonna take, and probably trim this one to the knuckle here, and this one as well. I'm looking at maybe trimming these knuckles off too, because um, they're not really producing uh, green. So, but this is a bell pepper. Oh, yeah, see, bell pepper already coming in. Here's another one, okay? So growing in really good already. And these, like I said, I think these plants are now two years old. Um, and then we have the chives. The chives are just excellent. Um, little bit of yellowing I can see as well. So, but I think my top off um, of chelated iron will be good. And I don't fidget around. Like I don't basically cut them here to use that much. I'll cut the whole thing off because it grows so quick. Um, which is just a really large pruning, but you can do that. And see, this is another bell pepper plant from last year, doing well, just getting started. And then I pulled these off yesterday because I made a quiche. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments about these, um, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I can give you video links to how I built these and everything, so. <clears throat> a very fun way to grow uh, plants for consumption, obviously. And um, yeah, this is one of the old dead plants here. <laughs> this is called pure laziness right here, you guys. I just took it out and I was letting it dry because these uh, clay balls are really expensive. 
Uh, again, no soil in these, just fish water. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments or anything, let me know in the comment section below, you guys. Um, join our Facebook group. It started to go really good again because people are kind of worried about the COVID-19 and they're starting to want to grow in their backyards because grocery stores were just cleared out, you know? And this is part of the reason why I grow because I don't need to panic. I have food and, and um, you know, everybody should be doing something in their backyard if they have a backyard. So anyway, that's one gardener's opinion. God bless you guys and like always, peace.